Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Lone War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the legendary Iron Man playthrough with Operation Ice Shield. Last time was um, a lot of sneaky sneaky, this time is a lot more shooty shooty as we do have 30 enemies and a squad that couldn't be more ready to take them on. Our job is simple, uh, we need to neutralize the dark VIP. We got uh, a fixed evac, evac squad. Uh, we could also capture the dark VIP. If we do so, we get resistance context plus one. In either case, we get intel. That's what we want. And the losses are here on top as well. So join me in this beautiful massacre. Cool. Menace 1 5, target location confirmed. Move to engage. Oh, it's a small map. This can only mean one thing and one thing only, which is absolute carnage. We're going to test the limits of the XCOM engine to see just how many enemies we can deal with at the same time. There we go. Well, it's not going to be a sneaky, sneaky mission whatsoever. <laughs> okay, okay, I see how it is. Double Let's time. get to the edge. Johnny Five. Moving out. It's gonna take a hopefully not so easily disturbable a situation uh, position. Uh, just in case we're dealing with losts, um, we're blocking the entrance with the uh, spark. And you know, if I could. Get a flamethrower opening on these guys. That'll be fabulous. So Jarangs is going to do exactly that. Sneaks in. Toxic, on the other hand, is the is the gatekeeper who is going to help us over here. Let's do this. And eight five shall not be spotted out because we're going to flank with him next turn. <laughs> Ready, set, go for some action. There's another pack up there. Of course. I wasn't assuming that we would get away with anything but discreet murder of the entire population here. So, yeah, not surprised. Hashtag not surprised. Kill zone would be a fine uh, skill. Hostiles making the rounds. Do we have that? No, we don't. <laughs> that would also be a nice uh, starter, but I think this here isn't too bad because we're dealing fire damage and fire damage typically means these guys are taken out. Can't move any closer. Fortify our position and it's go time. Two of them are burning. Now we get a fight. Maybe a third one gets a burning.
Mutant is like, that's unfair. And uh, charges in. Damn right, it is not fair. Lots of enemies now. Let's take the no regret action, shall we? Mutant explodes himself. <laughs> Fabulous. Out of curiosity, since you so nicely decided to cluster up down there. Burning, so ignore. Not burning. Burning, so ignore. Um, we could hit these three. Or these three. That's the better end. Uh, catch or driving time to remove some of the drones please Very nice. Can we somehow squeeze the force in? No. All right, that removed cover, which is not what I was hoping would happen. Well, surprise, surprise, guess who's here? Damn right, it's a me, 100% chance to take any of these guys out. We'll do that at the end. Once it's clear who is going to survive this onslaught. I can tell you one thing. It's not going to be the Spectre. <laughs> nice. Going to use advanced teamwork. And we're going to use command afterwards. With advanced teamwork, there is a second hit. Could be the drone. Could be the purifier. Not a bad target either. Could be Mr. Mutan. I think we're taking the Mutan. No. Oh, there's another surveillance drone. Sunlance is already taken out. We could use the pure. We could take the purifier. Yeah, let's use. It. Let's take the purifier. That's a hit. A miss. And a kill. So 
Synapse gets another action. Two, four, five. Hmm. That's the correct choice. Minimum damage could have uh, caused issues. Stasis taking this guy out. Two, four, six. I think so far is not strong enough to. It's only 33% chance to take the trooper out. So I'm wondering if we just make him insane instead. Resist the mind control, which is a shame. And two packs successfully controlled slash uh, killed. It's not only two packs, it's four drones on top of it, so it's a lot of enemies. We are in smoke, uh, smoke and uh, defense, so way better de defended than you might think. Moving into cover, this round will be a clean up round. Steadying the no uh, no reinforcements coming next round, so might as well reload. to go for the shield bearer with our gunner. I'll comply for now. Uh, how many of you have I killed? I'll be down to just fifth soon. Back online. All right, free reload. So 50 50 is not hitting. Synapse gets another chance. 60% that way or 50. Did unfortunately miss all of them. Are you unwell? Big fat insanity. We saw it through the wall that there is another pack, by the way. Guy is panicked. That will not help him against Soulfire though. Toxic and absolute menace.
Good, I think the next pack just wants to trigger. <laughs> hmm. Good. Shall we go for it or shall we not go for it? I think I need I want the loot. So first and foremost First and foremost I want the loot. Sheepbear is uh, theoretically ready to get pummeled again. Mm. The reason why I was snickering is a rocket would be a great opener for them. But it would always uh, also damage two civilians. No, 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 no. I don't want willpower damage. Good, which means... How do we get the loot? Everybody moves a little bit faster. We might be able to trigger them just by moving to here. That'll give us one piece of loot. And these guys are triggered. Might even get the other loot. All right, come on, bring it on. Move all the way up to here. Definitely the right time for fortify. Move to here. Oh, that's a bit in the open. Oh, I do have an idea. I'm trusting you here. Maybe I was the entire time thinking rocket, but maybe we can hit two birds with one stone. Or in this case, two birds with one flamer. Oh yeah. All right, uh, one of them is burning and the Centurion unfortunately has not caught flames. Still want to retain my concealment and I think this will be the best choice for us. Hunter Mech always prime target. Hunter drone good target. Centurion fantastic target. All right, let's soften up the hunter drone. Nicely shredded, but unfortunately not uh, well enough. Good, the Centurion is the other big menace that we need to take care of. Free reload into cyclic fire is my answer to his low hit chance. Three times 40% should be at least a hit. Okay, give him one more. Very good, Centurion down.
Mine merging into a five. And I think we can't re-control um, that guy, so that would not work. We're out of uh, range for the others, so might as well deal some damage to the drone. Another flamethrower. No, no, we don't have any more flamethrowers. Ah, too bad. The civilian casually just walks away. No big deal. Zombies, flames, a huge shootout. I see that every day. I live in the Bronx. Oh, yeah. By the way, my best buddy of uh, high school years just turning into an alien. <laughs> Even more casual walk off. There's a great song, uh, Cool Guys uh, Walk uh, Away From Explosions, um, by I think Lonely Island. It's just hilarious and so absolutely true. Good, we got reinforcements coming. You know what that means. More enemies. Sure thing. VIP located. Good, there's another pack. We don't want to locate that. For now, all I want is a shotgun for Christmas. These two are a fantastic pack, really, really good. And I love the high level assaults. Once they are behind the enemy backline, things just start to pop. Pop, 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 pop. Do not have reap, um, Reaper yet. This would be a perfect time, by the way, for Reaper. or any AOE damage, for that matter. Get the faces one down. Ross needs a new position. This one is great because it has super good aiming angles through the building. What I will do here is a bit of a trick. We're using area suppression in order to get more shots. Typically wouldn't do that, but Come on, poke your head out. it helps us with the loss. There's a dasher. Where's our evac, by the way? All the way over there. Okay, so we should be going soon.
Good, we move up. And continue to explore. One down. Two down. Unfortunately, not more ammunition. Oh, we got two massive packs here. He's moving back, fair enough. And these guys have semi triggered themselves. Great to see yet another faces one. Ah, that starts to become a bit problematic overall. Okay, well, the most important things first, we need to clean up and push up because reinforcements are soon going to arrive. That could be a trigger, but not a great one. There's another pack here. They will trigger sooner or later. Closing on target position now. Got some hostiles grouped over here. Okay. Let's start killing. We have your Rocketeer, that might trigger that entire pack. We need to deal with these guys as well. Overdrive isn't ready yet. Slightly moving back. And that takes them out for an entire round, so we don't need to deal with them now. We can deal with them next turn. Disappointing because we can't really kill uh, something. Unfortunately, no death from above. <clears throat> Needed to reload, then Sam is out of autoloaders. Can you hear 
Let's see if we can mind control this. If not, anything else would work as well. Mind control resisted, but it is feared, which is okay, I suppose. If we're moving in further, we're going to trigger that other pack is the problem. Yeah, we're already triggering there. So we're going back into full cover. No, yes, go. Can't stay in cover and concealment uh, whilst we're shooting. And the arrow definitely needs to die. We're putting ourselves here. Which would be out of line of sight of one of them, but still in line of sight of the others. And we got... Our nice um, smoke here. Should have potentially shotgunned uh, the... The face this one. Affirmative covering now. Going to trigger the other pack next round as well. Or they are triggering themselves, either way is fine for me. Ooh, that's a nice cluster. As long as they keep shooting the loss, I'm fine. That will trigger more loss, dude. And the Viper here is super well positioned. Can only hit the mutant. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. A small chance that we would be able to kill him. in here and get these guys but potentially not possible this turn we move up to here get the mutant that way Running out of options with Jeranx and Co. He 
these guys are also still here. Not a great spot to be in overall. I think the mutant carries a grenade as well. Oh no, he has used his grenade, never mind. That might trigger more loss soon. It's six bonus damage. We can take one person out for a turn or kill someone. So what are the priority targets? This flank here is getting annoying. Reinforcements soon are going to re-arrive. But we need to deal with these guys and we need to do it now. Your body grows weak. So damage it is, setting this one up for a death from above kill. Which is then followed up by a sniper shot. And a reload, which is badly, badly needed. We go to here, area suppress and solve the case. Move to here, do the same. I think we need to begin to move. So staying there is just not it. There's the area of suppression. So those three are being taken care of. We move up to here and kill that thing. Could equally move close to here and try to kill one of them. There's a third one guarding this site. Hmm, that's a bit of a conundrum. Might need the mech in order to go through that level of defenses. Carefully moving forward, kill this guy. A5 is on the prowl. Make overdrives so that we can at least get two shots out of it. Only a grazing hit, unfortunately. Okay, that's one down. Can't uh, stay in concealment, we need the damage. We are quick 
and I would like to use uh, that with Drangs. Engineer might just die. Raised. So close. Viper Sniper moves forward, that's good, because I would have had a hard time getting to her if she would have just stayed there. Newton double moves. Ooh, that's an interesting position. Oh, there's the other Viper. Need to get to that one. Still nope. Take a fire over here. I was about to say, no one moved, so we did not even deal damage. Disappointing. We do have a problem, more and more enemies are coming in, so I suggest we are breaking through over here and are pushing with all of our soldiers. This is dangerous, but I need to think about the following uh, turn. I want the... <clears throat> I want the... Uh, VIP and I don't want to move there separately all right time to kill the mutant leisure 11 points of damage okay that makes it a bit more difficult than expected or than anticipated how about we do something along the lines of this here with proper aiming angles. We do have deaths from above. That's a kill. And that then will lead into moving in. Now ah, we still have Blade Master. Whatever. It works. Fresh reload, I think we're positioning it up here, taking out the grappler. And the back line then just needs to move for now. It's a good question. Um, I do have an idea of how to deal with uh, the asset burn. That stays as him. That way he shouldn't take the asset burn. Or alternatively, we could might mind uh, merge. But now we're standing in the open, so stays as it is. Here, up 
here isn't bad either, but I would be prone to just get shot. I think this here is better. Ranks moves as far as he can. And this here would be a solid position for our sniper. Now every other position is too far in the open and I don't want to take Acid damage. Mm, nah. Sniper isn't very sturdy, so we don't want to create a situation where he takes unnecessary damage. A bit annoying to have the loss still around. And even more annoying to have sentinels here or guardians is uh, d don't know. Yeah, guardians and sentinels. How many faces ones did we just overall pull? Like we killed I think two or even three and there are still some left over. Wow. Good, the stasis trick worked. Free reload. We're fortifying ourselves. This guy needs subduing. And it's going to be nice little ride uh, to up here. Might go over here. That's non flankable. Got more reinforcements incoming, not good. Super dies. Let's just get the shield there as well. I most certainly do not have the time to reload. This here is completely line of sight blocking, so we would buy ourselves a lot of time with that. That's a smart um, pathing. Uh, as for the Mac, this guy will deal with the lost. I'm 
just trying to figure out what a good position is. Something along those lines could be decent. Um, hmm. This here wouldn't be too bad because we are only seen by one person. Distraction, 20% chance of regaining all of our actions. The failing would mean that the enemy gets a stat buff, but who cares? Seriously, no one does. Drinks very quick, moves out there. Come on, come on, roll the dice, baby. No. Oh, that would have been such a game changer. Okay. Mech can just move in straight next turn. I start to dislike the amount of enemies that continue, uh, continuously follow us. Yeah, exactly. Deal with the uh, with Advent. The grapplers, in particular, go and deal with Advent. Priests could be a problem due to their stupid um, stasis ability. Hmm, something is inherently broken. Edmund isn't reacting. What is going on? Okay, I try to restart. Let's hope that that fixes the problem. I have no idea what's going on. Potentially just too many enemies. But half of uh, them are still acting. The other half somehow are not. And I wish everybody was as quick as Jarangs. Because then we would be just running out of here like it's no man's business. Good, moving closer. I wish we already had overdrive. It's going to be tough. But luckily there are losses which are typically easier targets, so... We should be okay. Yeah, what? Let's just rush. Okay, two more rounds. Let's hope uh, that we're not seeing any um, any stasis. I've specifically not put anyone in range of the um, Advent priests. Lost continue to move in. Edwin somehow will deploy even more units here. Uh, 
And the loss of Wiggling had been down quite a bit. I like that. More of them coming in. Why? Why? This is so disappointing. It was such a great mission. And then... And then Advent just stops acting. Oh, this is really disappointing. Well, it was good for the first part. And it started to not be good anymore. I think we would have still uh, made it out just fine. But of course, this took a bit of the tension away. That's why we would have maybe needed to shoot once or use an ability or something. Animus underestimated, as per the usual, the amount of just massive, massive reinforcements that would be coming in. <clears throat> if you th just think about how many uh, how many advents have been deployed here, it's crazy, and the <clears throat> uh, reinforcements every round are just making it so much more difficult. We just pulled the plug. The moment that you see reinforcements every round, it's time to boogie out. Grey Knights or not, just look at it. I mean, I can, yes, I could kill five of them maybe in one round, but that is without moving. Then we need to reload and so on. So, yeah, you're not progressing towards the target, okay? Mind merging with synapse. Because that's a grappler and I don't want to take extra damage. Out. There you go, protect it. Okay, whatever. It was a great mission until it uh, started to be a bit weird, but 70 enemies, even for Psychon standards, is a lot. Good. Very good. So I think that was the liberation. That was the liberation of the area. We can now go to the tower mission. Fantastic. Johnny takes a Reaper. Already has Death Room buff, has helped us a lot in this mission. Great ability. Preservation also was good, but with Reaper he can be the cleanup instance. We're going to take rapid fire just because, you know, it's rapid fire, right? Russ. Flanked enemies take even more damage. I like that. And Russ definitely needs a pistol. And I need to give him lightning hands once we have enough points. And Toxic gets a promotion, that's good. Plus Crusader, our mech, uh, can finally take hold of targeting. And bonus point of armor and always provide high cover for adjacent squad mates is bad either. Uh, torn between both of them. That bonus point of armor isn't bad and the high cover actually is quite tempting. But I like the better to hit chance.
Cool. Very, very good. We got a radio tower right there. Setting course for sector five. Naturally, we're going to take the Grey Knights uh, into that. Baseline seems okay. And Grey Knights would come up as a team with five right away. So I wonder if this is just going to be the team. I think it's a good team. Misses uh, the um, misses uh, the healer a bit, but uh, we can. I think we can do without. Uh, what we cannot do without is pistol on you, my friend. So that was a big mistake. I don't want to do. Uh, don't want to make that mistake again. And Jarenx is quick, isn't he? Still 16 mobility. I want to get one of those Hasmus vests as well. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, I think we're good to go. That'll take us 6 days uh, and 13 hours. A perfect, uh, perfect mission for the uh, Grey Knights. It'll be a difficult one. And they are well equipped. They are very well equipped. So that's good. And let's start the infiltration. Cool. So you got plenty of other uh, stuff to do, as you can see. By the way, <laughs> I learned something. If you are liberating a region, uh, you are getting a network tower for free. So we're not going to build a network tower here. What we're going to do is we're going to liberate this region. So the moment that that here hits 10 or so um, uh, personal, we're going to start liberating that. Already started liberating this year, which is totally fine. So we will get a network tower here and we would have a network tower here. So we are uh, then going to expand into both of uh, these er areas. So that would be good. Uh, this here could be one of our next areas uh, where we are uh, starting the liberation that will give us a network tower. So shoop, shoop, and we're um, going uh, to go here. So the moment we do have like 10-ish 10 uh, people there, we can actually start the liberation. Um, good, very good. Back to the Templar HQ. And let's keep it rolling. 99% infiltrated. Somehow I thought that would have been a 100% infiltration, but we're going to go uh, to do that. Um, given though the length of this episode, that's going to happen in the next episode and not today. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate your viewership as always. If you like what you've seen, then leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye bye.